Hey guys, how's it going? This is Rezo from MapMonkeys.com bringing you another episode of Glitching for Dummies. Teledad Man 2 writes, Great idea man, keep them coming. Please, can you cover strafe jumping and jump slash prone slash normal elevators? The tutorials already on YouTube are just complete garbage. Smiley face. Final, how do you find all these glitches out? LOL. Well, Teledad Man 2, I can help you out with strafe jumping, but I can't help you out with the elevators because they've been patched. For those of you that don't know what strafe jumping is, it's a form of trick jumping used to increase the player's speed in video games. What this allows you to do is since you're running faster, you can jump farther. There are actually a few different types of strafe jumps you can do, each having their advantages and disadvantages. I'm only going to show you how to do one of those today in this episode because that's all I have time to cover, and that one is PC jumping. Now before you get started, you want to make sure you have a class with a high mobility weapon and lightweight on. And once you're in the game, you want to make sure your sensitivity is set to 4 or 5. While PC jumping, your jumping range is 90 degrees, 45 degrees to the right and 45 degrees to the left. This is a great spot to learn how to PC jump. The reason why is it's not too hard because if you jump right at the right time normally, you can still make it. Now you want to be standing in the middle of the trash can right here. One of the biggest mistakes I see people make is they're standing too far back. Now as you just saw, I didn't make it with a normal jump. I'm going to jump again from further away and it's still not going to make a difference. Alright, now I'm going to do the PC straight. Now since there is 45 degree range to the left and right, there's two different ways to do it. First, I'm going to show you to the right. Now I'm jumping to that roof, so I'm going to look to the left so I can jump right. You're going to sprint and hold down on the left analog stick, but flick the right analog stick to the right and slide your finger across to press A. I'm going to do it one more time and then I'm going to show you the hand motions to help you better grasp the concept. Alright, now it's time for the hand motions. I'm all set up, and now I'm going to sprint and slide my finger across to the right and press A. That might have been a little too fast for you, so let me slow it down for you a little bit. Alright, again, I sprint, and then slide my finger across, and then press A. As you see, I just let my finger go and press A. But, I'm going to slow it down for you one more time. Alright, and I sprint, and then flick the analog stick, and press A. Alright, now it's time to show you PC jumping to the left. Since you're jumping to the left, you want to look 45 degrees to the right. It's a lot more difficult to jump to the left because instead of just flicking your thumb across the analog stick and pressing A, you have to push the analog stick to the left and then quickly move your thumb to press A again. Alright, so I just did it twice, so now it's time for the hand motions. Alright, so I'm all set up. I'm going to sprint, push the right analog stick to the left, and quickly move my finger back to A. That might have been a little quick for you again, so let me slow it down for you. Sprint, push the right analog stick to the left, and then quickly move my thumb to press A. One more time slower. Sprint, push the right analog stick to the left, then quickly move my thumb to press A to jump. Alright, well let's say you got that one down and you're ready for a more advanced PC jump. This one is still not too terribly hard, so it will be good for beginners. Just make your way onto the roof and do the PC straight, either left or right, whichever you prefer, over to the cage. Now let's say you have this one mastered and you're ready to really challenge yourself. This right here is an advanced PC straight. Just get on top of this container here and do the strafe to the container next to it. And there you go. Just try making that jump with a normal jump and you'll easily be able to tell that there's a difference. Alright, well that wraps up our second episode of Glitching for Dummies. If you're having trouble with a glitch and would like to see it on Glitching for Dummies, send me a message saying so at youtube.com slash rezo, that's with an H, or contact me on Xbox, my gamer tag is rezo, and if you found this tutorial helpful, Feel free to subscribe and don't forget to check out mattmonkeys.com.